Hello, my friends! This is Anton speaking, and you're watching the Speeds Boost channel. During one of my last streams on Instagram, I have told you about the bottle shops in Russia. And today I have decided to show you one of them, situated near Atradna metro station. And to see it, we should go on a small, small trip. So, guys, we're finally here. The address is Prayez uh, Dezhnyova, uh, number 27, building 1. And the shop is actually right behind me. For now, I think we could go uh, in and check out what we've got in there. The very first thing we see entering the shop is this sort of an artwork where the German, I think, or at least some European lady, and a note Pivnoi, the beer shop. Here as well there is some bottle, and this is a very installation. Magazine is a shop. So having entered, we see the first shelf with the pretty lots of mugs, the bocals and the rest, and as well the whole shelves of uh, Russian beer, of, uh, well, beer from Belarus, where is it? Yes, here it goes, here it is. And a few fridges with some other sorts, including the one with, uh, uh, the, with the handle in the three liters can. Well, this is pretty fashionable here in Russia. And uh, about the craft, what we have, we have a pretty big choice of Saldans and uh, uh, some choice of stout, of stouts and meats with cherry with uh, uh, some hot uh, infusions. And again, some coronet, which is from Belarus. Take a look at this Zhigolevsky beer from different years, which is made upon the standard of this year, uh, where it was brewed. I really like the one uh, with, uh, of 1930. This is my favorite. Well, the lady working here has told me to show you the local beers, which is their favorites. The first one is called Hadezhinska which is made uh, at the town of Hadezhinsk and has only two weeks of their best before 15 days. Another sort is called uh, <coughs> Maikopska. This is a beer from Maikop, one of the Russian towns. And what I really like is that also we have a sort from Samara, uh, which I will tell you about a bit later. And uh, well, some classic sorts like uh, Fuller's, like uh, Paulaner, Hofbrau, Hofbroi, and uh, some Czech P Pilsners. And this is the shop window with their snacks. There is uh, plenty of choice. As you can see, we have plenty of cheeses, plenty of fish, uh, plenty of some kind of dried sausages and this is the fish well here in Russia the dried fish is uh, probably the best snack for a beer and here oh, of course here we have the shrimps the frozen shrimps which you could boil and some uh, crawl fishes well uh, some crawl fish as well. I, I think I have to take a closer look one day. Just take a look at the color of those snakes. Take a look at the magic color. Wow. And of course we have the chips. Of course we have the chips. Now we are having our tubs. Our tubs. Uh, these are the very Pegas tub I've told you about in one of the streams. Uh, which pour the beer uh, right to the bottle right to the plastic bottle which you can see here above and of course we also have some more bottles some more bottles 
And now I'd like you to take a look at the bar zone, which uh, here it is uh, like uh, uh, the specialty in here. Well, before we enter the bar zone, I would say that uh, to use it, you would have to pay extra 20% from the reset. So, if uh, the beer cost you 200 rubles to take away, uh, you would have to pay 240 rubles to drink it on the spot. And this cost uh, includes a uh, um, table, a chair, a plastic bocal, though you may carry any bocal you like with you and uh, uh, drink your uh, beer out of there. And, of course, a toilet. Um, everything of that you'll see later. Um, and now, please, feel welcome. So, here we enter the bar zone. The bar zone is quite a huge in here. And, as you can see, there are plenty of tables. There is a plenty of tables. The screens the screens where people usually watch football or some music channels just take a look at those installations with the ladies with the uh, people drinking with uh, the guitar with the uh, beer caps well <laughs> some really nice beer caps i should say and at this very side we have uh, some european town with its citizens but the thing worth being marked is well the clock here pena it's written pena called foam but the principal thing here is a toilet which is really adorable mm -hmm. yes the light turns on automatically and uh, here it says the place to dispose your dark garbage and the things and uh, the stuff to dispose your light garbage. Well, here you can see the uh, soup and the place to wash your hands. As well, here we have all those installations, all those beers all the rest so it looks really brilliant well some other people have a certain scene of uh, having a willing to smoke after they have uh, uh, taken uh, their beers or, or two and here as well we have a, a tobacconist corner where we have a, a certain choice of uh, whips of uh, cigarettes of uh, sticks of whatever and of course a pack of barbecue coal well the best way to relax after a trip and celebrate it is having a mug of beer and i've got the beer from this very shop called kersari the dark let us pour it to our mug as you can see it is dark if I'm not mistaken, it just has a 3.2 alcohol bar by volume. So this beer is a sort of a check lager. And I should say I have really enjoyed it uh, uh, during my last years because uh, practically it could be compared with the uh, Wolfas Engelmann, well, with Wolfas dark version. But uh, it is quite richer in taste. Uh, and uh, costs uh, much, much less expensive. So let's give a try to what we've got. Well, the smell is quite sweet. Um, what is quite typical for this very sort of beer. And uh, let us taste it. Yeah, this is Kirsari the Dark. And. Uh, this is a really good beer, uh, and, well, when should it be drunk? Uh, it should be drunk, for example, during your lunch time, for example, uh, when you have some really, really rich food, really, really rich table, 
and uh, uh, you really want to drink something when you don't have to go anywhere. So why not have this? Very beer. Um, as for other European sorts, um, we could compare dark Kersari is, uh, for example, dark Kozal. Dark Kozal, which is quite good for me and which I always drink in Europe uh, when uh, I do not want to have any experiments and when I just want to have a um, beer I really like and uh, which is uh, stable about the quality. So the Kersari is um, uh, the equivalent of this, of Kozal, of Wolfas and uh, similar beers. Well, why is it called Kersari? Well, this beer is from Chuvasha. If I am not mistaken, it is uh, done in uh, Chebaksare. And their marketing legend tells that uh, <coughs> Kersari is a celebration of their harvest. And uh, it is uh, the feast when uh, everybody is drinking, everybody is eating and the stuff. And this very beer uh, is uh, aimed at honoring this uh, festivity. And well, thanks a lot for watching this video. Please don't hesitate to uh, <coughs> write me a comment. Don't hesitate to leave a like uh, for our video. And uh, see you later in our future videos, in our future reviews, beer reviews. And uh, during our streams, it was Anton, it was uh, our channel called Speedsboos. Thanks for your attention and goodbye.